It's got a dome and marble columns, but this capital is for now quiet in contrast with <laughs> the siege at the U.S. Capitol last week. But with an increase in chatter online about activity like this happening at state capitals nationwide, New Jersey's Homeland Security Director shows how his department is taking action. There is no specific or credible threat to New Jersey, but we want the people to know that one, we're aware of the overarching threat, and two, that we're doing something about it. Director Jared Maples explains why he issued this statement on Wednesday, saying that by coordinating federal, state, and local law enforcement, New Jersey is working to, quote, halt possible attempts at violence, unquote. Sunday has been targeted as a day of protest at state capitals like Trenton. We have to take all these things seriously. We are. I'll be present myself uh, in our command post, our state command post, and, and all of our partners uh, with state police and FBI and, and the county and local level. If protesters come, they'll mostly find a state capital under extensive renovation. Still, law enforcement is planning for them. Hopefully, the end answer is there is no violence. That's certainly the goal. And we're dedicating all resources available to make sure that if, if someone does come out, it's peaceful uh, and, and we keep it that way. Of course, there's a need for vigilance here at the state capital, says the director. But he adds that the need to be alert is universal throughout New Jersey, especially after inauguration day. He mentioned the domestic terrorist killings of a police officer and three people at a Jersey City kosher grocery store in December 2019 as the type of attacks we all should prepare for. It was analyzed in his department's yearly threat assessment last February. However, this year we did it twice. Um, which is abnormal is we release threat assessments. So they've issued this supplemental report as the threat increased in the run-up to the election. And now the director warns the threats may intensify. What we're worried about going forward is that these groups continue to foment, continue to, to cause issues, to continue to drive each other up. We've never felt so strongly about getting the word out there about some of the extremist acts that unfortunately you're now seeing. And that's why they want to remind people that you can help. If you see any suspicious activity, you can call uh, the number you see here, 866-4-SAFE-NJ, or you can email tips at tips at njohsp.gov. Reporting live from Jersey City, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.